Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I help family photographers gain a life of financial freedom through a thriving photography business. Today, I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how I edit a family session from start to finish. You may recognize the family that is in this photo session. It's Caitlin James and her sweet family who, if you're not familiar, Caitlin is an incredible wedding photography educator and it was so fun to be able to photograph her family. I'm really excited to peel back the curtain and show you what it looks like to edit a session like this in Lightroom 11. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you know when new videos go live every single week. Now, before I share my screen and show you and dive into all things editing, I wanted to let you know about a free class I have available just for you guys. It's the five steps to launching your photography side gig. So if you're the kind of person that wants to take this thing from a hobby into an actual business, then this free class is for you. We have it linked in the description so you can go check it out, sign up today. It's completely free and I know that it'll be helpful for you. All right, guys, let's jump into Lightroom. We have the family session that I shot for Caitlin James and her family. So super excited. This session was just so awesome and it, I loved it on every level. So I'm really excited to be able to um, show you guys the editing. Now, if you are not aware, I have a family photography um, behind the scenes membership called Behind the Lens. And we actually filmed this photo session for Behind the Lens. So you're going to see the final images. If you want to see the behind the scenes of how we shot the session from start to finish, then definitely go check out Behind the Lens. It's fun because Caitlin has her own um, behind the scenes membership for wedding photographers. And, um, so you guys, if you're a part of her, um, wedding photography, um, membership, then you have seen her on the other side of the camera, but you've never seen her in front of the camera. And so this session was so fun and, um, it's really cool for you to be able to get that behind the scenes of what Caitlin's like, you know, in front of the camera with her kids and her husband. Um, so I will link the behind the lens in the description if you want to go check it out and, um, um, watch this session, you know, how I pose, how I um, get the kids to cooperate, all of that, um, then you can do that. So we're going to go ahead and go into our develop tab. And the first thing that I always start with is apply my light and airy preset, which I will link for you guys if you want to go check that out. Um, it's fairly inexpensive in my shop. So I set my preset. I'm going to upper exposure. I'm going to um, adjust our white balance. So it looks on the warm side to me and a little green. So I'm going to bump the temperature down a little bit. I'm going to bump the tint up just a little bit. Um, that's looking better. And then I'm going to adjust our exposure. Um, so when I, you know, I'm editing light and airy, I want to make sure that I don't overexpose. Um, so I want to bring up our exposure, but then bring our shadows down some so that we still get some pop in the photo. And then the background is looking kind of heavy um, and our greens were giving me an issue. So if you look at the original we were working with, our greens were super neon. Um, and that's just because of the time of day we were shooting. This was a morning session. The original plan was to do a sunrise session, but we ended up getting started a little bit later and we were hoping for the sun to come out um, because it was a cloudy day and thankfully the sun did come out. Um, and so we got some beautiful light, but it really messed with our greens. So I I'm going to go into our HSL color um, and under the green tab, I, you know, have our green set like this. I'm going to adjust the luminance a little bit. We're going to bump our luminance down so that um, it's not as like glowy because the greens are already very glowy naturally. Um, so I'm going to bump that down a little more. And then I'm going to go to our yellows because the yellow, if you look over here, is what's making it look really neon. Um, so you want to be careful because yellows are also going to affect skin tones. So I'm not going to adjust it too much, um, but I'm just going to bump the saturation of our yellows down a little bit. And then I'm going to bring our luminance down a little bit. Um, so that's already looking better. Now I'm going to play with our background. So I like to do a subject mask. So you can see right here that this, the red part is where the mask is affecting. I actually want it to affect 
everything around them. So I'm going to select around them and I don't want the overlay so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to up our exposure some. We're going to bring our highlights down a little bit. I'm going to raise those shadows because it's super heavy. You can see in the trees. I'm going to raise those shadows some in the background and that is looking great. So um, from there, I'm going to adjust our crop a bit so they're nice and centered. And that looks like a great finished product. Um, so now that I have one picture done, I can go to this whole set that we're right here in that same spot and I'm gonna hit sync and I want to include the mask as well. The only thing I don't want included is the crop. So I'm gonna hit synchronize. And then I can go over here and you do have to select the mask and update it. So I'm going to do that for all of these. And we're going to do it again. Okay. And now I can play with each individual photo. So we're going to straighten and crop. This one was my favorite because all three kids are looking and smiling. It was wonderful. Okay. So we've got a nice pretty crop there. We're going to do this one. This one can be off to the side a little because why not? Um, and then actually, nope, I want it centered. So you got to play with things like that. Oh, look at Graham's face. He's so cute. Okay. And I included all of these in the gallery because Caitlin's smile is different. The kids' smiles are different. So we have four that are similar photos, um, but the kids all look a little bit different. So that's that set. Now I changed things up a little bit with our angle. So I'm going to go ahead and sync and we'll see what it looks like. Let's update our mask. All right, and it's looking a little bit hazy just because the sun was off this way, so I was shooting into the sun a bit. So I'm going to give it a little bit of dehaze, like not a ton, um, and then it's looking kind of warm. So I'm going to cool it off some more, and this is like very subtle. You don't want to do too much. Um, I can bring up a reference photo so I can say, okay, do these look similar? Yes, they do. Okay. Um, and all I did was I just clicked reference right there and I dragged a picture over so that I can make sure that they are staying consistent. And then I'm going to bring that in and that looks great. So these next few are kind of in that same spot, um, but this one is super hazy right there. So we're going to have to play with it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste, you know, sync these. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and synchronize these knowing I'm going to have to make tweaks. Um, so obviously this is much too bright. So we're going to go ahead and tone that down. And also um, in our mask, we're going to tone that down. Um, the background is actually too bright. So I'm going to lower the um, exposure. And usually I do it the other way around where I make the exposure of the background brighter, but in this case, it's too bright. Um, and then I'm going to also we'll bring in a little bit of shadows and then we're going to have to play with our dehaze and with our, our shadow slider here so that it brings back some of that detail that we're losing. So I'm going to up our, our exposure. We're going to bring our blacks down a bit. Um, and I know this is not going to be like perfect how I want it because I caught um, some haze shooting straight into the sun. Um, so I am sacrificing a little bit, but overall it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and, oops, that one is the same. So I'm going to go ahead and, how's this one looking? That one's not bad. So I'm just going to sync six and seven. Um, we're going to replace the mask. We're going to click our mask and click update. There we go. Um, so now I will crop in. They are so cute. Okay. So not my favorite shot. I would much rather have, you know, this shot because the lighting is a lot better, but it's worth including in the gallery um, because it's a little bit of a different background. So let's update our mask here before we make any moves. And that's a little bright and it's a little bright overall. So I'm going to bring our exposure down and I love this shot. I think it's so cute. Um, and oh my gosh, everything about it. I just love it, especially Kayla and Michael. Okay. So then I'm going to go in here. Let's update our mask. 
Oh my goodness, I love it. It doesn't need much at all. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. Now we're back at that same spot that we were at earlier. Gosh, look how neon those greens are. So I'm gonna grab one of our early shots and I'm gonna you know, select it with that one and we're gonna sync. I'm just gonna sync with the first one so I can get it how I want it and then we can adjust these. Um, so I'm looking at our greens. They, they still look so neon here. So I'm gonna actually bring our yellow saturation down, our green saturation, I'm gonna bring it down a little more to get it a little more where I want it, and then we're gonna update our mask. Okay, the mask really helps. It's a little hot, <laughs> I don't need it so bright, but that is a lot better. So I'm going to adjust my crop. And Caitlin was so excited about this photo because it was the first one that Rhett was able to like walk in doing a walking photo. So this is a really, really sweet like moment for them as a family. Um, okay, so let me, I want a little bit less ground in front of them. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. So I'm happy with this. Let me see if I can bump the exposure just a little bit. Because I'm light and airy, I always like kind of toe that line of like, how bright can I make it without it being too bright? So you'll see me like barely bump exposure and say, okay, can I get away with that? Do I need to bring the highlights down just a little bit? And overall, this looks good. So I have the first one of the set done. I, you know, I'm gonna bring the shadows down just a little bit more. Um, and now I'm going to sync it with the rest of these. So we're going to hit sync. And the first thing we need to do is update our mask. So I'm going to do that for each of our photos before I forget, because I always forget to update the mask. It's like that newer feature in Lightroom um, that I'm still getting used to it being part of my workflow. So clearly these need a little tweaking. They're still pretty bright, but I'm going to go through and um, update these and then I will edit as needed. So we'll go back to this one. We're going to hit done. Overall, it's a little bright. So I'm going to tone it down a bit. <laughs> and we're going to do some of that. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, I can't handle it. I'm going to bring that down. I love Caitlin's smile here. Again, we're just changing it up slightly in each photo oh my gosh I love this let me look at all of these okay we're gonna bring the exposure down a bit crop us in so cute again we're gonna bring our exposure down look at Evie being such a cute big sister I stinking love this okay your exposure down just a bit I like don't even need to crop that one that's so cute oh my gosh I love it okay and for this one this is a duplicate of this one um, because I want to crop just for the kids so I'm gonna go in here and see how that oh my gosh Abby is such a great big sister um so that's a really cute shot for sure and then this one's still a little bright so we'll bump it down and then we will do our crop perfect love that okay um, so now we are back in that same spot still, but with just mama and her babies. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one and then select the one next to it. And we're going to sync and I'm going to get this ready for this set so that I can, I can see, cause it's not quite right. Um, so I'm going to tone it down a bit. Let's go and update our mask and it's way too bright. Um, so overall, we're just going to bring that down. Um, our background is pretty bright. That's looking better. Okay. So I want to get as much trees as I can. So I'm just going to crop enough to center them. That is so cute. Okay. Um, and this was a virtual copy. So now, oops, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and we're going to sync them. And then the first thing we need to do is sync our mask so that we don't forget. Oh, that one's already done. Update. And update and update oh my gosh these are so cute and update okay so right off the bat I can tell that the shadows are a little bit um, 
a little bit heavy that it's like not necessary to be this heavy so I'm gonna go in down here to our curve we're gonna raise our shadows just a bit we're gonna up our exposure a bit and then crop awesome and I gotta say people were asking me if I was nervous like shooting this session and editing it <laughs> because of who it is um, because it's Caitlin absolutely I was nervous you guys <laughs> um I oh this is the same photo let me crop this all the way in um I was so nervous because Caitlin knows her stuff technically and I was like oh my gosh I need this to be so technically correct because she knows if a photo is you know out of focus or not colored right or whatever so I was extremely nervous um getting this stuff to her but she loved 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 the photos so I was super happy with that okay we're just gonna raise that a bit oh Graham he's so sweet so I can actually bump our exposure a bit here that's looking better we're gonna bump our exposure a bit Oh my goodness. And I'm going to crop up so that we don't see Graham's head right there. This is going to look like just a mama pic with little Rhett there. Okay, we've got Evie. We can bump our exposure some. We'll raise our shadows because it's still a little heavy. Oh, I love that. And I actually want that background to be even brighter. So I'm going to update my mask and we're going to up just a bit that's looking great all right this is one that I had already had edited because um, I did some virtual copies so let's go ahead and take this one and we're gonna sync it here and then we're gonna update our mask and it's overall too bright <laughs> so I'm gonna tone it down just a little bit oh I love this picture so cute I'm going to bring our shadows down just a bit to bring a little more pop into our photo. And then a little, bring our shadows down a bit here too. Cool. That looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and sync all of these. And then we're going to update our mask so that I don't forget. <laughs> mask, update, update. And that one's already good update and update okay so we did that one I'm gonna put my mask away oh my goodness I love this okay um so it's great that I don't have to make that many adjustments because we already did it and then we just sync them up oh I love that oh my goodness see I like literally don't have to do anything to these these are awesome. I'm going to maybe adjust our crop. Oh, I love it. Okay. So now we've got Michael and the kids. So I'm going to go back and find one of those where we're on the road and I'm going to sync it up with the first one with Michael just so that we can get it right. And then I'll sync all our other settings. So I'm going to fix our crop here. This is a little bit of an awkward pose, um, but that's okay. I ended up moving Evie to the side and it looked better, but I included it just because. Um, okay, so overall, this is looking okay. I'm going to bring our shadows down a little bit. Let's make our... Oh, we forgot to update. I was going to say I wanted our background a little bit brighter. Perfect. Um, so before I forget, oh, I haven't sunk out anything else yet. So now it's a little hot overall, so that's much better. Um, now I'm going to take that shot and sync it with all of these so that they're on the exact same spot. Okay, so we're going to adjust our crop and then we need to adjust our mask. Update and update and update again. Okay, back to our photo. Okay, so that's looking good. I want our blacks to be a little more prominent there, just a little. All right, we're gonna adjust our crop. And our skin tones are starting to look a little green, so I'm gonna make it a little more pink. Again. Oh my gosh, look how sweet they are. Good. All right. 
and then again what to start grab I love all of their cute smiles we'll crop this one in tighter oh look at them I can't handle it <laughs> Okay, and then we have a sibling shot. So this one's super cute. I actually want it to be brighter. That's not centered. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> okay, let's go to our mask. Okay, it's a little bright overall. So that's looking better. Happy with that. And then let's see, can we bump that? Yeah. All right, so that's looking good. Now we turned and we've got some of that haze back again, just a little bit, it's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna go over and find, well, I'll go ahead and sync. We're gonna sync these and know that we're gonna have to make major adjustments because it's in a different spot. So it's too bright. We're gonna dehaze just a little bit. Oh, see, just like that, that's all it needed. Um, so we'll do our crop. Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to bump the exposure down a little bit. We're going to dehaze just a bit. Perfect. Oh, it like doesn't need anything. That's so good. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. This is a virtual copy. Um, I cropped and well, I had to edit Graham out in um, Photoshop and then we did a little bit of cropping. So there's that one. Okay. Let's sync up this one we'll make our edit and then we will do what we need I love this okay I'm gonna sync this one. Oh, so cute and then we are working with Evie so I'm actually gonna grab this shot and sync it because that was in the same spot um, and then I'm going to adjust. So it's a little too bright. Um, it's, that was about it. Just down here, bringing our exposure down just a bit. Um, so now we can sync the rest of these. We had quite a few here. I did Evie and Graham. All right. We need to update our mask. Okay. We'll do this for all of them. She was dancing and twirling for us. It was so cute. I love getting little girls twirling. Like, look at that smile. She was so happy. Oh my gosh. She looks like a big kid here. It's crazy because Evie is the same size as my daughter. Um, and so it's super weird, like, seeing her there. Like, they're the same age, basically. Evie's a little bit older. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, she looks so big. That means my daughter's so big, too. Okay. We're going to update all of these, and then we'll go in and fine-tune all of them. Okay, so we'll go to our Evie one. We're going to adjust our crop. I want to bring our shadow down just a bit, and that's good. I mean, most of these don't need much at all. So cute. I'm cropping up because I don't like having like an excessive amount of ground in our picture. To me, it's distracting. So, ooh, that's a little crooked. So I bring that up a little. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I'm going to actually up our background just a little. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Just a little. And there's a hand there. <laughs> so we're going to use our healing tool. And I'm going to get that hand out of there as best that I can. Oh, gosh. I think I got too much of her arm. Hold on. Let's try that again. Usually, this is pretty easy to do in Photoshop. I might... I don't think I'll have to take it in Photoshop. Okay. We're actually going to... Let's have it clone instead of heal. Nope, let's have it heal. Okay. It's better. That to me is like, that's good enough. 
Um, if you wanted to get super technical with it, you can take it into Photoshop. But no, honestly, if I didn't even point it out, nobody would know that was there. Um, let's adjust our crop. Um, I'm actually going to tilt it a little bit more. Perfect. Oh my gosh, look at this handsome guy. He's so cute. Um, we're going to give him a little more shadow. Let's update our mask and brighten up the background just a bit. Perfect. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. We bring in our crop a bit, center him up. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is so stinking cute. Oh, I think he was saying, oh, what a day here. <laughs> That's like his new phrase they said. And oh my gosh, it was so cute. Okay. All right. So now we're going to sync these up. We'll make our edits. It's too bright, but the background is too dark. So this is a great way to use that, um, that mask you see how like much lighter this feels now I'm gonna bring our shadows down just a bit for Michael's hair and that's looking better I'm gonna crop this kid out <laughs> and good and then I'm gonna sync it up with those let's go ahead and update our mask and again oh my god um and we're going to crop. Perfect. This one doesn't need much. There's not a kid to crop out this time. <laughs> okay, so we're back to, man, look how neon those greens are now. That sun was out bright. Um, so we're back to that spot. So I'm going to grab one of these. We're going to grab that one. And let's sync it up with this first one, knowing that we're going to have to make adjustments. Okay, so it's a little too bright. I don't want to overexpose. Let's update our mask. All right, a little too bright. Okay, that's better. And then I'm going to straighten and crop in. Because ideally, I want about the same amount of space here as here. Um, so I can only crop so much in. Perfect. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, now I'm going to sync up these. Gah. I mean, look how, if I do our before and after, look how neon those greens were. We really toned them down here, which was the goal. Okay, let's adjust our crop. Look at Graham's face. I can't with him. Oh my gosh, he's so funny. Okay, he was saying something. I have no idea what he was saying. shot and Rhett is back here um because we weren't sure if he was gonna sit with the big kids and um he wouldn't <laughs> so it's a good thing that we got that shot first because he was not super interested in like posing with the big kids um okay let's bring our exposure up just a tiny that's too much all right we're gonna crop in um and on all of these we can see there's a car over there because this is Caitlin's neighbor's driveway. <laughs> um, so I want to get rid of the car. And I'm just going to use my healing brush. Perfect. It's so easy to do. Literally just click the band-aid and you like click over it and then find like a good section of tree so it blends right in. We're going to do that again right here. doesn't have to be super perfect because it's so far in the background that most people are not going to see it. Um, if we wanted to fix this one too, let's just, this one's a little harder. That looks good actually. Um, okay. I'm going to crop this in a little more. All right. So let's go ahead and sync up with all of these because these were all in that same spot. 
uh, you can see how clearly our lighting changes from this one to this one. So I'm only going to sync through here. Okay. Perfection. So I'm going to first update all of our masks so that I don't forget. And this does take a little bit of time to um, go through and update masks. But to me, I just think it's worth it to use because the mask just makes a big difference in the overall um, feel of the photo. Oh my gosh, all of these are so cute. We're going to go in and fine tune in a little bit. Oh no! Okay, we need to redo this because what it's doing is it's syn it synced up um, and I'm so glad that I saw that. So you know where I had my, um, oh gosh, where's the last one that we did? I think it was right there. Um, where I had my, my healing thing, I do not want that included. So I'm going to go through... <laughs> We're going to hit sync and I do not want spot removal um, because replace that is where that dot came from <laughs> so we don't want to do that um i'm going to go through and update all of our um masks again man see that's why you got to check your work people because we that would have been awful okay Here we go. Oh my gosh. Evie was running and like literally wiped out. <laughs> and we have it on camera because we filmed this whole behind the scenes. That's what's so fun is like, oh my gosh, why is it still there? Oh, uh, okay. We're just going to have to. That is annoying. I mean, you can't really tell on a lot of these. Ugh. I hate that it's doing that. Even on though on these, you really can't tell. I don't care. I'm just going to delete it. I think it's because the first time when I applied it, it put the spot removal. That is so annoying. Okay. That'll have to do. <laughs> now, where were we? We were over here with... Caitlin. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now y'all know, like, I'm just a regular human that totally makes mistakes. <laughs> okay. So now let's go through where did we do? Okay. So I'm going to just go through and adjust crops and some fine tuning. I want this to be a little bit brighter. All right. Oh my gosh, I love this shot. You're so cute. Running shots are my absolute favorite. And you can see how I set it up and stuff in the behind the scenes. Oh, I love this shot so much. Okay, so I'm going to leave this a little wide. And I'm going to crop this one down. Oh my gosh, I cannot handle it. Oh my gosh, Rhett thought this was hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to tone this down just a bit because our sun came out. And there is Evie <laughs> wiping out. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Actually, that one was a virtual copy, so I'm going to crop this one in. So cute. Oh, I love them. 
Oh, Caitlin's face right here just says it all. She's like, this is my little baby. Oh. I'm going to crop in just a bit. Okay. I love everything about this shot. I want to get as much tree as I can, but I don't want too much ground. So that's why I'm cropping it in like that. Highlights are a little hot. Still a little hot. That sun came out, man. I'll turn it down just a bit. Like I said, light and airy is a really fine line. Oh my gosh, she was so cute. Ooh, that is right. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this one. Let me see, pretty much the rest of these are gonna be able to be synced. So it was just really, really dark here. So I'm gonna expose for my subjects first and then I'll mess with the background. So that's good. Let's bring our background down just a bit. Highlights down. Okay, that's looking better. It's so glowy though, I love it. Okay, we've got a little bit of a hot spot on our head, but that's okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sync all of these. Look similar. Um, you can literally do all of these. No spot removal. <laughs> okay, let me go through and do our mask update really quick. Perfect. Oh, I love these so much. This was just like a sweet, this was one that Caitlin requested to do this pose. Oh, we're going to have to dehaze. Um, because like this is when they get a lot is with her and Evie sitting like that and it is so sweet oh my gosh so I got individuals with each kid with mom and then with dad um it's just one of those that we had the time so I wanted to make sure we got that so that when it's like somebody's birthday or whatever that they would have like something special to be able to post oh these are a little bright don't worry, I'm going to tone them down, but we need to update all of this first. Because if I don't update it now, I'm going to forget. So if you're like, Rebecca, these look awful right now. <laughs> I know, I'm going to update it in a little bit. Okay. Oh my goodness, I just like love these so much. Even though they're a little bright right now, that's okay. Rhett, oh my gosh, he's such a sweetie. Okay, these are again too bright, but I will update as needed. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Let's see, got all those, is that where we were? Um, yeah, no, here. Okay, so that looks fine. Crop in just a bit. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Oh, I love it. She's giving her tickles. It's just like sweet mama moments with her first baby. Oh, okay. Here's where we dehaze. <laughs> so we're going to bring our exposure down just a bit. We need to bring in some more blacks, bring our shadows down, and I'm going to dehaze a tiny bit more. Okay. Let's adjust our crop. And that is looking better. 
there's still some haze in here and I can't get rid of all of it that I would want to. Um, but that's okay. So I've done as much as I could. I'm going to go ahead and sink these up. Sorry. I'm going to not do the mask though. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do the mask again. Okay. That's the only like annoying thing with the mask is you have to like manually update it every single time. But it looks really cute. Let's bring our blacks down some more. Oh, that's the background. <laughs> I was like, why is it not doing anything? It's kind of warm, so I'm gonna cool it down just a little. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. It's a little overexposed. Okay, and I'm going to up the background a bit. Okay. Oh, I love it. Look at her cute smile. Oops, that is not centered. <laughs> oh, that is such a sweet shot. We're going to bring some shadows down just a bit to give it a little more pop. Perfect. That is too bright. Get this straightened, and it's also a little warm, so I'm gonna cool it down a little bit. If you look at our reference, remember from the beginning, you can see like side by side. So this is looking a little bit pinker, and I know it's gonna look different because it is a different time of, of the day. It's later in the session, so it's okay if it's not a perfect match. Um, we're a little too pink. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sync those guys. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay. We'll adjust our crop. Awesome. Ooh. It's so cute. Oh, I love this one. Okay, that is much too bright. So we're going to turn that down a little. We're going to bring in some more shadows. We're going to dehaze just a bit. You you can't overdo your dehaze de because then it looks funny. So you just got to be careful with it. Whoa, okay. Too hazy. And it's not going to be perfect because of... The haze, it's just, you can't really fix it post, but that's as good as that's about, about as good as that's going to get. Um, which ones are hazy? Okay, these three. So I'm going to sync those. Okay, it's still a little bright. Not my fave, but you know what? I'm still going to deliver it in the gallery. Oh, it's cute. That's better, actually. I'm going to bring the blacks down over here, too. See how it looks like it starts to look really, like, orange? There's only so much I can do there. Um, okay, too bright. Oh, he's so cute. He was not really having it right then. <laughs> all right. And all of these are too bright. So we're actually going to sink. Oh. We're going to sync with all these. Sync. Let's not sync the mask because the mask is pretty much okay. Um, okay. We're going to adjust our crop some. Cute. And that sun was getting real hot there, which was sad. But, oh, I love this picture so much. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was my only wish was that that sun was not quite as harsh there. Um, but I didn't want to shoot into the sun, so we were making do. It still looks great. It's a great, you know, great shot. So it's just a little hot on their head. Okay. But it's not on their face, so that makes me feel really good. Okay. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. So I want... 
want some more. Let's bring our shadows down. Let's bring our blacks down. Oh, I love it. So pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and sync these. Oh, so cute. Perfect. And actually, we can put this one off to the side a bit. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Okay. Perfect. And we up that exposure just a bit so that we, like, I like to toe the line. <laughs> and then these are already done. Perfect. So, look how cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, so what I do at the end is I go through and I just look at the gallery as a whole. Um, because I want to make sure that we look nice and consistent. So I'm just scrolling through quickly, looking at just in general at colors. Oh, it froze a little. Um, and we look overall consistent here, which is wonderful. Perfect. Um, and you can make the thumbnails even smaller to see. Awesome. This looks like a really consistent gallery. So I'm happy with it. Um, and Caitlin loved them, which was wonderful. Um, so I was so honored to photograph this session. And like I mentioned, if you want to watch me shoot this whole thing behind the scenes, you can, you know, it's uncut. You can see exactly how um, I got all of the kids to look and smile in this shot. And, you know, the posing prompts that we use and how we set up the running shot. Where is it? Um, I'm going to find it for you. <laughs> the, oh, I think I passed it. Like how we set up these shots, you know, the ew and um, the run and give hugs and everything like that. Like there's just so many. I don't even know. I can't find the run and give hugs. I know it's in here somewhere. You guys have seen it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, over here. So you can see how we set all of this up. Um, you can watch Caitlin interacting um, on the other side of the camera. So much fun. So it's all linked for you in the description. Um, you can join Behind the Lens today. So hope you like this. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment them here and I um, will come through and answer. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful for you and I can't wait to see you back next week for another episode. If you found this helpful, be sure to give this video a like so that other people can find this video on YouTube, help us out with the algorithms so that it can be helpful for other photographers too. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'd be happy to help. See you guys later.